I was researching else, something else and I decided to make a quick short video about the topic of suicide. Right now I'm at the Google page. Uh, I entered the term suicide rates by race and gender. There's a lot of information there. Veteran studies, how we got the number of suicide prevention, U.S. suicide rates by rates by age, sex, marital status, etc. So what I want to do is go straight to a source, which is suicide.org. U.S. Suicide Statistics 2001 Breakdown by Gender, Ethnicity, Young, Old, Age Groups. Total number of suicides, 30,622. Males committed 24,672. Females, 5,950. Total number of white suicides was 27,710. Non-white suicides, 2,912. Black suicides, 1,957. Okay. Um, now we're going to go down to, let's see, that was 2001. Let's look at 2004. U.S. Suicide Statistic 2004 breakdown by gender, ethnicity, young, old, age groups. Number of suicides in the nation in 2004 was 32,439. Out of that number, men committed 25,566. Women committed 6,873. Whites committed 29,251. Non-whites committed 3,188. Blacks committed 2,019. Whereas white men committed 3,081. That's white men. Black men committed 1,655. Black women committed 364. White women committed 6,170. Okay. Now we have to keep in mind that we don't have an equal number of black and white people in the country to begin with. So let's keep that in mind when we look at the fact that um, white men committed 23,081 suicides. Black men committed 1,655. There's a lot, of, lot more white men than there are black men to begin with. But even taking that into account, the suicide rate by percentage, no matter how you look at it, is much higher among the white race than it is the black race. In fact, the black race does have the lowest, in, not only in numbers, but also by percents, the lowest uh, suicide rate there is. And black women are by far, the, by far the least likely to commit suicide. Okay. 364 black women committed suicide versus um, 6,170. And again, we are taking into account the difference in uh, statistics. There's a lot of data and statistics out there about this. And um, I just want to point out that it is well known that the group that is least likely, in fact, there's a lot of studies about this, to commit suicide is actually black women. Let's see. What group is the least likely to commit suicide. Let's see what pops up. Black women least likely to commit suicide in comparison to other ethnic, ethnic groups. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. Black women least likely to commit suicide. New study finds black women less likely to commit suicide. And that's in uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam News. New study finds black women less likely to commit suicide. And then it says Americans than among other ethnic groups. And we do know that men are far more likely to commit suicide than um, women are. You know, I could go through this and spend more time on this, but I'm not going to. I just wanted to put that out there. I could bring up a lot of charts and pie graphs and all of that and really exhaust this topic but I just wanted to make that point the reason I'm, I did this is because I'm researching another topic and the topic that I am uh, researching and uh, dealing with right now is my contention that um, 
black people, the ones that do it, most black people don't do it, but those few who do need to stop blaming someone else for all of their problems. And, you know, other people do this other than black people. I'm not picking on black people, but that's who I'm dealing with right now. That's who I'm addressing. So, it, you know, no one needs to jump on that bandwagon and try to beat up on white people, because uh, excuse me, on black people, because I'm not having it. I'm not going to co-sign on that uh, if that's what you want to do. Because what I'm offering is constructive criticism. Criticism. And uh, like I said, other people do it too. But I'm, I'm actually making this point to make a positive message. And that is that uh, you think that you have problems, those that do. You think other people don't have problems. And you have this um, uh, over aggrandized idea of white life and what it's like. But the fact of the matter is that black people in general are much less likely to kill themselves than any other group is. And out of all races, ethnicities, and everything else, the black woman, the black woman who is so often criticized for saying, I'm a strong black woman. Well, if you want to look at suicide as evidence, I guess they prove that they are in fact strong. Because no matter what they've gone through, historically and today, they may do some things that are uh, not the best choices to make. But killing themselves, that's extremely rare with black women. And with that, I'll end this video.